Hello, this is Denton Yoder, instructor for BSE 2304, the Biological Systems Engineering CAD class. Um, this next lab will also be a survey lab. It is doing a transit survey. Um, we should have already seen the video on how to uh, set up a transit over a pin, but I will have at least two flags out on the site for you. Um, I'll represent them, I guess, again with a circle. Uh, up underneath the tree is Blum, which is a known marker. It's a concrete marker with a metal cap. It'll be really obvious when you find it. We will, I will have you set your instrument up right on that pin. And then over across the field, there's another circle. There's another uh, marker. I'll have it flagged as well. It is another uh, known marker that we will survey. Um, by setting up on a known point, and backsighting a known point and zeroing your gun, you are ready to start surveying anything. So you will run around with the prism, kicking up everything. And remember our cross sections, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600. I'm calling the points at the left end of these cross sections, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600. The right-hand end, I usually call 199, 299, 399, 499. If you have another number for it from your first survey, like if you want to call this 120, I'm okay with that too. 199 is pretty easy though, because I just put a 99 on the end of every cross section. But anyway, you will go out and pick up everything to draw this map. You're going to want to find the edge of the walkway. You're going to want to note where the trees are. You're going to want to note where the edge of the water is, where the bridge is. You want to pick up ground shots in the field so that we can do topo. Um, so you need to spend a couple hours picking up points because you're going to need a lot of points. From this lab, we are also going to incorporate the, the cross-section data that we surveyed the week before, or at the previous survey, we'll integrate that data with your existing data that you're surveying this time, and we are going to make drawings to represent this ground. Um, one word of caution, before you import your field book, you want to turn off the NAT83 south zone feet. Um, I've found that if you turn on the NAT83 and then you import a field book, it's going to do an adjustment on the points and they won't come in where you think they should. So if you turn off the um, settings, drawing settings, turn off the category, set it on no datum, no projection, you'll be ready to import the points. Uh, once you import the points, you can turn it back on if you want, which makes it easier to work with the background. Okay, good luck surveying.